And welcome to a stadium that's always a pleasure to visit, Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa facing Burnley. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Looking forward to today. She'll be in for a good game. Let's hope we see a quick start from both teams. Set the tempo for the rest of the match. Martinelli. Target with it. And players waiting in the centre. Mongala. Sanchez. Richter. Sanchez. And given away. Well, the numbers really speak for themselves. And the home side boasting the best defensive record in the league. They're going to be very hard to break down, you just feel. Well, Derek, it's the forwards you see smiling when the team's defence is as solid as a rock. Because they know... And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is. And a chance for them to forge ahead. A clear penalty and a yellow card to boot. Well, we can see the coach doesn't think that's a yellow. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here's the replay as a penalty taker myself for many a year. I used to love this part when it hits the back of the net. Not so great when you miss one, though. The opening goal of the game, then. Rodriguez. Mongala with it. Well, no stopping him. Oh, he's through here. Defending of the highest class to stop him. And that will be a corner. Over it comes. The fist of the goalkeeper. One terrific save after another. Chance to cross. Excellent ball towards the front first. Well thumped clear. Not giving him a moment's peace. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Scott McTominay. Martinelli. Real danger. And cleared away. A corner kick it'll be. And now the delivery. And punched away. Doku. Getting news of a goal in the Spurs match. Alan McAvally. It's a goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. He was played through with only the keeper to beat. Lifted the ball over him as he went to ground. 27 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Rodriguez. And cleared away. Well, they've lost the ball. Excellent vision. And delivered towards the back post. The save was a good one. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. And firing it into the area. A very effective clearance. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Can he convert? And putting his body on the line. 
He's driven in the corner. Almost what you courageous goalkeeping, but he's got the ball. Well, you have to be brave, don't you, diving at the feet of a player like that. Good goalkeeping. I'm in time. And half time it is an acceptable score line from the point of view. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Bafetimbi Gomis. And now it's with Embolo. And crossed in there. And intercepts again. Really good high press. Villa have not seen too much of the ball, to be fair, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Options in the centre. He cuts it back. Wonderful chance. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here's the replay. Great disguise on the pullback cross. And you have to say, with a finish to grace any game, lovely, calm, classy strike right there. It's going their way. 2 0. Let's go to Alan McAdally because there's been a goal in the Spurs match. It's the second goal for Liverpool. 56 minutes played. 2 1. Many thanks, Alan. A no chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And taking it away. And Bayern have been very active in the transfer market. And they've made a big move personnel-wise. Good news for their supporters, Lee. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees. Are... It should be! Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Brownhill. Rodriguez. And an astute piece of defending. Excellent vision. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. So 20 minutes to go. Brownhill. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa taking on Leicester City. Yeah, the fixtures come in thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Getting in there to take it away. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal in the Wolves game. Alan. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 77 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers again, Alan. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Douglas Luiz. An attacking possible. And he's through here. Well, Derek, he sees the position of the goalkeeper and that's what makes his mind up for him. Beautiful chip. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Read it superbly to take back possession. And news of a goal coming through from the... Save, but still a chance! Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. Poor attempt at a pass, really. 
And we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. One minute remaining. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minute. Well, the referee has instructed minutes. the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Will he find the net? And up for grabs off the keeper. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with... Some questions regarding the match? Thank you for answering the
Well, they're not unaccustomed to wet weather here at the King Power Stadium, and that's what the players are going to have to deal with. A rainy day here in the English Midlands. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Scott McTominay. And dispossessed. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemann's plays with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. Played into the centre of the box. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. A look at the table then, and for Tottenham, I think you can make a coherent case that they haven't really been playing up to par. Well, second half of the season is there as well. Standards have dropped, they haven't improved. Individual players are not playing well. Sign of a great team is one that repeats performances week in, week out. They've not done that. So for Aston Villa, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Burnley. Expectations for this game, Lee? Well, Derek, it was easy enough for them in their last game, a 3-0 home win. Was the win on the cards today? I'm not so sure. I'm going to go for a draw. Henderson, useful looking position, you've got to say. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. They look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And good pressure high up the pitch. Won it back. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see the stats. It's going to be a real test for that back line today to keep him quiet. They switch off for a minute, he'll be in and he'll punish you. Jack Grealish. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Can he do it? Alaba puts his body on the line and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Philip Benkovic. Munia in possession. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. And now the delivery. Madison. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed on pen. The ref didn't know. Frederic Gilbert. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Madison. And the counter looks on here, options available. All hands on deck. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Gilbert. Here is Benkovic, Tielemans. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Mateus Cunha, and a creative look about this. Can he find the net? Well, body in the way. 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. And so it's... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Jack Grealish. Doku. And Grealish. Matty Cash. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Justin. Tielemans. Madison with it. Munir. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, here's some transfer news you'll want to hear all about. Carvajal has completed his move to Bayern. A reported fee of around £80 million. Huge amount of money. Responsibility on a player's shoulders with that sort of price tag is huge. But he's a huge player. Big personality. Fofana. Tielemans. Here's Tielemans. James Madison. In possession, Belotti. Justin. Now can they make something happen? Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Madison. Can he put them in front? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Myron Boadu. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Munir. And possession given away. And fed forwards. Cross blocked. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Substitution time it is. Philip Benkovic. Tielemans. Marko Arnautovic with it. Space on the flank. Tielemans. Marko Arnautovic with it. Henderson. Tielemans. And taken away. He won the ball. Disappointing pass. And played the pass well. Committed challenge. Just ten minutes to go. Scott McTominay. And Grealish. And still on the lookout for the goal. But this is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over. But no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, they haven't been at their best today, that's for sure. But this game is far from over, and the fans are certainly reminding them of that. You've got to think there'll be one more chance or two. He could pick out a teammate. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And we will have just one additional minute. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Now well, they've lost the ball. And that will do it. The final whistle is sounded and it goes in.
we just grab a minute of your time for a few questions? Thank you.